How do you respond to the Western world suggesting that there is no Palestine, the Palestine shouldn't be claiming that that is their rightful land because according to the Zionists, their scriptures has suggested that the land belongs to them, the Zionists, that's the one issue. They also are very prone to talk about your Arab neighbors that don't support you, that don't defend you as a Palestinian Palestinian people, almost suggesting that Palestine or Palestinian people shouldn't have any claim to the land or even be in existence. And I'm sure it's very painful for you as Palestinian people to hear those type of utterances. Dear, look, I don't want to reduce our reality to responding to some racist claims or some stuff where like our defenders of the state of Israel keep repeating. And then if that we exist, if you recognize our existence, then you're okay if you don't recognize our existence then you need an optician to help you i don't like to get engaged in conversations where i have to prove my humanity or my right to freedom defenders of the criminal behavior of the state of israel deny my existence they deny my freedom. They deny our right at home as a Palestinian society. They do this because this is the way they can maintain the crime. So, of course, defenders of Israeli criminal behavior will keep throwing arguments for us to be distracted with. The state of Israel has diplomatic ties with countries around the world. And those countries justify those diplomatic connection by creating an image that doesn't exist here. The state of Israel being a democracy, for example. The state of Israel is a democracy in the exact same sense that apartheid South Africa was a democracy. In South Africa, it was a democracy for the white man, and here it's a, it's a democracy for the Jewish nationalists. So I'm not here to have a ping pong with a fascist or with a defender of fascism, because it's there is brutality that is being carried out beyond verbal debates. The second issue about neighboring countries. Yes, the people in neighboring countries feel free societies, people, they recognize the oppression imposed upon Palestinians and what Palestinians have to survive. So there is this kind of recognition of the crime that is being carried out against us or maintained against us. Now, political regimes do not operate in the same way. Political regimes, they do whatever is good for their maintenance and sustainability. If it goes against their the Western allies' will, they will do it. If it goes hand in hand with the wishes of their Western allies, they will do that. I just wanted to remind you that many Many of the countries that did not provide support for the struggle against apartheid. That doesn't mean or did not mean that apartheid was not a savage regime. It just meant that certain countries have better interests than supporting the struggle of people for freedom. Now we have the same thing. Like, yes, we have many countries that do not recognize that we have a right to freedom. The man can do is to shut up and take it. And in best case scenario, like, shut up, be oppressed, and provide security and safety for our oppressor. Absolutely. You know, that's the best case scenario. But before like, I look at the relation between any political regime and the struggle for the Palestinian people for freedom, I need to look at the nature of that regime. If that regime does not uphold basic rights for its own population, then why the hell should I expect them to provide me with support to achieve my freedom? Well so, said. Indeed, you've hit the nail on the head.